everyone, Assalamu alaikum. It's me Rami Akhtar Loka from English Language Center, Bangladesh. My batch number is K to Marwan State. So now I am going to tell the uh, novel after Shukta. So let's begin. Along the crowded London roads, they went slowly at first and then, as they left the town behind more quickly. Soon they were right into the open country. And the car is put along first. The children sang songs, as they always did when they were happy. Are we picnicking soon? asked Anne, feeling hungry all of a sudden. Not eight, said Mum. It's only eleven o'clock. We won't have lunch till at least half past twelve, Anne. Oh, Mum, said Anne. I can't hold out till then. Mum handed her some chocolate and she and the boys must have it. Watching the hills, woods, and fields as the car sped by. The picnic was love. They had it on the top of a hill in a sloping, sloping field that looked down into a sunny valley. And he didn't really like a big brown cow which came up close and started at her. But it went away when Dad told it to. The children ate ravenously, and Mum said that instead of having a picnic day at half past four, they would have to go to a cafe somewhere because they had eaten all the tea, sandwiches, as well as the lunch ones. What time will we reach, Aunt Fanny's? asked Julia, finishing the very last sandwich and wishing there were more. About six o'clock, with luck, said that. Now, who wants to stretch their legs a bit? We have another long drive in the car, you know. The car seemed to eat up the miles as it peered along. Tea time came and then the three children began to feel excited all over again. We should watch out for the sea, said Dick. I can smell it somewhere near. He was right. The car suddenly topped a hill and there was the shining blue sea, calm and smooth in the evening sun. The three children gave a yell. There it is. Is not it gorgeous? Oh, I want to swim this very minute. Only 20 minutes now before we're at Crane Bay, said Dad. We have made good time. We'll see the bay soon. It's quite a big one, with a funny shirt of island at the entrance of the bay. The children looked out for it as they drove along the coast. Then Julian gave a shout. There it is, that must be green bay. Look, Dick, isn't it lovely and blue? And look at the rocky little island guarding the entrance of the bay, said Dick. I would like to visit them. Well, I'm sure you will, you will, said Mum. Now let's look out for Aunt Fanny's house. It's called Queering Curtains. They soon found it. It stood on the low cliff overlooking the bay and was a very old house in it. It wasn't really a cottage, but quite a big house built of old white stone. Roses climbed over the front of it and the garden was full of flowers. Here's Kirin Cordis, said Dad, and he stopped the car in front of it. It's supposed to be about 300 years old. Now where's Quentin? Ah, oh, there's Fanny. That's all for today. Thank you everyone for listening to me cordial.